All right. One pass to Randy Scott, and the lead pass to Ryan Fellowship, pass to Austin back there, and waving his hand. And I want to welcome you all to Iron Faith Fellowship this morning. We're going to have a great time, a great day. Uh, we're just expecting God to do some great things with the uh, Lance Tail and our young people. And, and uh, I always call it, I was calling the adults to help us this time because that's what they're, let, they're letting them do is help. The kids are going to put the skin on and those kind of things. So we just want to thank everybody. So let's go to the Lord in prayer and we will kick this thing off. Father, we just come before you, Lord, and, and we thank you and we praise you and we bless you. Lord, I pray that all we do here and say in this place brings nothing but honor and glory and praise to your name. Father, I pray that this message would speak to hearts. If there's one person that's come into this place that doesn't know you as Lord and Savior, that they could leave here set free, victorious, washed in the blood of Christ. Father, we thank you for these sons. Bless each home represented in a great and mighty way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. thing for Project Blindness, and uh, I think we've collected close to $300, Get which is really great, and I don't have my paper in front of me, so anyway, we want the, got to put it on the right side. So far, the girls are winning, which means the boys have to um, wear elves outfits right. on Christmas Eve. The contact is yet? <laughs> All right. Um, the little ones won't lead the way this morning, so if you'll quickly just come up and put your cast your vote in. Linus, uh, the Project Linus, for those of you who are here for the first time, is an organization that makes blankets for children. And we're supplying them with a donation so that they can continue their ministry here in Delaware. So that's what Project Linus is. You're not going to win. <laughs> I'll let you know, of course we know the girls are going to win, but I'll let you figure out how much total comes to. Thank you all. than a son born to die for the sins of the world. Preparing for this Christmas celebration of life, let us always be reminded there is no greater gift. There is no greater love than there is no greater love than no great no greater love now than Jesus. As we light the candle representing love, maybe we be may we be reminded how much we are loved by God. For God so, uh, John 3, 16 through 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved.
many people are out there in the audience. Yes, isn't it great? Great, great. Oh, my agent's going to hear about this. Just think, Snowflake, all these people came tonight to hear you tell your story. Tell them to wait till the movies come out. Oh, come on, Snowflake. You've got to go out there. You have an amazing story to tell, and all these people gave up a night of holiday shopping just to hear you tell it. Now go. But, but, uh, um, my name is, oh, uh, well. Snowflake. Uh, yeah, that's it, Snowflake. My name is Snowflake. I would have preferred the name Rocky, but nobody asked me. Anyway, this is my story, my tale to speak. It's, uh, about a night long ago when I, well, sort of wandered off from the flock, but it wasn't my fault, honest. See, there was this kid, Zika Bonizer. Well, we call him Zeke for short. We had to. It was either that or we'd all get tongue whiplash. Zeke was a nice kid and all, but this shepherd gig just wasn't his thing. Oh, I think the director wants me to hurry up. It only supposed to be a 45 minute show. All right, all right, I'm hurrying. Like I said before, my name's Snowflake and I belong to this flock of sheep. Uh, my, and sheep have to be watched by shepherds. My shepherd was Zeke, the kid I was telling you about. That's him over there. He's a pretty nice guy, but he had to learn a lot about shepherding and obedience. Of course, sheep have that down pat. We're very obedient animals. Well, most of us, most of the time. I don't blame Zeke for not wanting to be a shepherd. Sheep can be a pain sometimes, and there's the weather too. A shepherd has to be out in the rain a lot. Sheep don't like that either. You know what water does to wool? And when you're a shepherd, you always have to keep watch, making sure none of the sheep 
wander off. So it's no wonder Zeke has other careers in mind. Of course, he didn't tell anybody about how he felt until one day he couldn't hide it any longer. Class, class, as you know, today we're going to be discussing career choices. Zeke, we'll start with you. Please stand and tell us what you want to be when you grow up. We already know what he's going to be. He's going to be a shepherd, just like his old man. <laughs> and his father before him. And his father before him. That's all he can be, a shepherd. A lowly, old, no good shepherd. I don't have to be a shepherd if I don't want to be. Why, I could be, I could be a policeman. Oh yeah, a shepherd boy would make a great cop. <laughs> He could catch all the criminals on the lamb. Get it? The lamb. <laughs> class! Class! No, that's enough! They have all you want, but I'm, I'm not going to be a shepherd. But then who'd watch old little snowflake? Yeah, everybody knows it takes a flake to watch a flake. Now, boys, we'll have none of that. Zeke's right. He can be whatever he wants to be when he grows up. Yeah, snowflake. We'll get along just fine without me. I think I'll be a cop or an astronaut. You might even train to be a vet. You could run for me, maybe you'll cut hair. When I grow up, who knows the job I'll get? All you're ever going to be is a shepherd. <laughs> I think I hear what a snowflakey wakey now. I think I'll study law. Maybe you'll play ball. You could get a medical degree. Join the FBI. I know that if I try, when I grow up, there's nothing in the world that I can't be. But it's a shepherd's life for me. someone named Zeke. A message? Let's see here. It's from your father, Zeke. He says to come straight home after school. You have to watch the sheep. <laughs> you have to watch, watch the sheep. sheep. You have to watch the sheep. You have to watch the sheep. <laughs> well, Zeke was the laughing stock of the whole class, but God had a special plan for Zeke's life. He had something very important for him to do on a very special night. That night was about to change history. What are you doing, Zeke? Nothing, Dad. Just sitting here thinking. The stars over Bethlehem are sure bright tonight, aren't they? Yeah, they've been growing brighter and brighter every night, like something special is about to happen. What do you think it is? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Dad, can I ask you something? Of course, son. Would it hurt your feelings if I told you I didn't want to be a shepherd? No, Zeke, you can be whatever you want to be. But there's nothing wrong with being a shepherd either. I know, but it just isn't exciting enough for me. Not exciting? Are you kidding me? Come here, Zeke. I think it's time you learn just how exciting shepherding is. What do you say? I think it's time for Tales from the Flock.
shadows falling, snakes are crawling, better not make a sound. Birds are flying, terrified, vultures swooping down. Creepy critters give us shivers, better not make a sound. Wolves are howling, bears are Still think being a shepherd's not exciting? Uh, well... My mom makes me carry it. Better not make a sound. Shh. Well, good night, Zeke. Lord willing, I'll see you in the morning. You're going to sleep now? Well, it's getting late. Besides, being a shepherd is boring, remember? Good luck on your watch tonight, Zeke. Yeah, uh, good night, Dad. Yes, son. You're not, uh, bored, are you? Uh, no. I just... I just don't spend enough quality time with you, that's all. All right. I'll watch with you. I'll keep watch now. You can go to bed, Dad. You sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. Well, if you need anything, I'll be right here. But whatever you do, don't fall asleep. The sheep are depending on you. I know, Dad. Oh, I know. tonight. I'm glad. They'll help me keep awake. Yeah, I'm going to stay wide, wide awake. This 
listen to all that growling. And they're worried about bears? Well, as you can see, no one was watching me. So being the curious lamb that I am, I started wandering farther and farther and farther. I figured I'd be back by morning before Zeke ever knew I was gone. Oh no, it's morning. I must have fallen asleep. I was supposed to watch the sheep and I fell asleep. Let's see. 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh no, one's missing. It's Snowflake. Snowflake's gone. What's the matter, Zeke? Snowflake's gone. I counted all the sheep and Snowflake's missing. How could he be missing? You were watching him last night, weren't you? Uh, I fell asleep, but only for a little while. An hour tops. Maybe two. No more than four. I'm sure of that, Dad. Oh, Dad, I'm really sorry. We'll spread out and help you look for him. Snowflake. Snowflake. Snowflake! Hey, you! Shepherd boy! Who, me? Yeah, you. Zeke the Geek. Who, me? I'm not looking for any trouble. I'm just trying to find Snowflake. If you're looking for a flake, why don't you just look in the mirror? None of this would have ever happened if he had just obeyed his father and watched me in the first place. But Zeke had a lot to learn. So the shepherd looked for me all morning, all afternoon, and when nighttime came, they still hadn't found me. When I get lost, I really get lost. But that night wasn't going to be an ordinary night, as Zeke was about to find out. Snowflake! Snowflake! Whoa, you're not Snowflake. You're an angel. The others are never going to believe this. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. 
A savior? Born in Bethlehem? I gotta tell the others. Hey, isn't he that shepherd boy? Yeah, I thought we told him to beat it. Let's show him who's in charge around here. Wait a minute. We can't let him see us doing this. Housework and wearing these aprons. Oh, yeah. Here, hide the brooms and let's take off these stupid aprons. I can't get mine untied. Me either. Hey, wait a minute. Are you sure that's the same guy? He looks different. Yeah, what's with that glow on his face? I don't know. Maybe he's radioactive or something. Well, I think we better leave him alone. I think you guys have been reading too many science fiction scrolls. He probably just went to one of those, you know, tanning salons. Hey, you, shepherd boy, did you find your widow sheepy weepy? I can't talk now, guys. I'm on my way to see a king. A king? <laughs> you. Now, why would a king want to see you? I don't know, but an angel came and told me all about him. An angel? You saw an angel? Well, he is glowing. And I still don't think we should mess with someone that glows. You boys, quit your socializing and get back to work. We've got a lot to do. Say, kid, do you know you're glowing? I'd have that checked out if I were you. Mom, he said he's seen an angel. There's an angel out here? You boys would say anything to get out of work. Here, now get busy. You know, it's funny. All these years I thought you were the cool ones, but someone who sees an angel and gets invited to a king's birthday, now that's cool. By the way, nice aprons. Did you see him? Did you see the angel? I sure did. 
We all did. Are you going to Bethlehem now? You coming with us? You better believe it. But wait a minute, Dad. What about Snowflake? I'm sorry, son. But if Snowflake hasn't turned up by now, I'm afraid. You mean? Come on. Let's go to Bethlehem. All we can do is hope and pray Snowflake will be all right. God's own lamb, and speaking of lambs. What? Hey, uh, Zeke, I think we found something that belongs to you. Snowflake? How'd you find him? Boy, am I glad to see you. Well, I mean, this is so unlike you. What made you change? I don't know. Maybe it was the fact that you're, you know, glowing. That, and someone just told, something just told us, that was good night for peace and goodwill towards men. But how in the world did you find us here in a stable? Let's just say someone left a light on for us. Sorry I wandered off. That's okay, Snowflake. The important thing is that you're home where you belong. <laughs>
So, there you have it, folks. That's my tale, and it's the truth. Every last bit of it. And I should know, because I was there. I saw the manger and the baby Jesus, the Savior of the world, lying right there in it. Oh, what a night. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? No, actually, it was kind of fun. I love stories with a happy ending. Hey, where's Snowflake? Don't tell me you lost him again. He was here a minute ago. Snowflake, Snowflake. Over here, guys. Snowflake, what are you doing? Sorry, I was just talking to the people here. Telling them about you and the angel and the baby Jesus and... Look, if I'm going to be your shepherd, you got to quit wandering off like this. It's dangerous out there and... What was that you said? I said it's dangerous out there and... No, no, no. The other part about being a shepherd, does that mean... Well, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And? And I guess I've sort of decided that. Yes, yes? Well, that being a shepherd isn't too bad after all. In fact, it's pretty cool. You know, if I hadn't been a shepherd, I wouldn't have seen an angel, and I might not have ever gotten to see God's greatest gift ever. Yeah. You know, God's got something special for all those who are in the right place at the right time. Huh, Zeke? Right, Snowflake. Let's both try to remember that.
Great job. Great job. Okay, um, just a couple real quick announcements. Um, over here to the right, everybody, there is a setup to have your pictures taken. So if you want a family picture, an individual picture, Aaron's going to be taking them. So over here is a photo op. The ladies have set up refreshments to the left over here, so please grab some punch and cookies. just want to say a special thanks to all the little ones uh, and to the parents.